<coughs> okay, we're going to do the RCD testing now. We're going to do all from the board. In previous videos, you've probably seen me do the RCD testing from the sockets. Well, as you can probably know, no, some of these uh, circuits, they're on lighting circuits. You've seen me do it from a pendant fitting. Um, but one of these is on the, a, the boiler. You can't do that, for, there's no socket there to test from. So we're gonna do the test from here. As you can see, it's all off at the moment. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to turn this on in a second. Um, so we're gonna do this from the, from the board, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. We're gonna connect the earth lead of the tester to the earth board, and we're gonna connect the neutral and the line into the top of the RCBOs. Now these are fuse box type A RCBOs. Now, <laughs> there's an ongoing debate on how many tests you should do on a type A. Um, I'm gonna be doing 10 tests. I'm gonna be doing the AC tests, and then I'm gonna follow them up with the A tests. There's an argument that you don't need to do the type A tests because they've been done by the manufacturer. Other people say that the AC tests aren't valid when you're doing a type A, because you're not type, you're testing the type A. There's lots of opinions on this at the moment. My opinion is, it's all very well that these have been tested by the manufacturer, but that's under laboratory conditions. They're not in real world conditions. So how do you know that this still works after it's been delivered to you? You don't. So I feel you've still got to do these 10 tests of so the five, um, so the half, two halves, two, two ones, two fives, which is six, I know. I don't know why they say it's 10. Um, and then on the type A's. So I'm gonna switch my tester from type AC to type A when I'm doing these tests. Um, I'm still gonna record the highest one times and the highest five times. I know that there's some forms now that you only need to record just the highest reading of the one and the five. Um, the NAPIC forms still require you to do both. So I will be recording both. So I'm going to get my tester, we're going to get it set up. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's going on. I'm not going to do any talking now, so hopefully we'll see the, uh, I'll zoom it in so we can see what readings are coming up on there and we'll take it from there. Obviously I'm going to have to turn it on, but I'll turn it on only one of these at a time. Okay. So I'll have to hold up the tester because it, that's, it's not going to actually show otherwise I'm afraid. So I'll just stick that there. So we're going to have to get the power on to start with. So we've got the power on to start with. So we're going to do each one of these in turn. Okay, so we're going to get the power on to the isolator, power on to the main switch, power on to the first circuit. <coughs> so we get the tester, and we're going to set the tester to 30 also. Okay, set to my AC, we'll just make sure of that. Make sure you get them in the right way, obviously. Okay, put it on blue. And there, we're on the earth. We're getting voltage. We're set to 330 mil auto AC. It's past that first one. Past the second. Past the third at 39.2, that's times one. Past the second at times one at 30.4. Past the third one at times five. and 9.2 as well. So that is the five tests. I was wrong earlier on. So the five tests are the 
it only does the half times once, then does the one times twice and the five times twice. So that's the five tests. Take those off there. And if I want to recall it, just hold that up there, do the recall. So that's passed. 39.2, 30.4, 19.2, 30.4, 19.2. There we go. So now we're going to do the type A tests on the radial. So I'll change this to type A. Uh, let's turn it on. Neutral and line. So let's get the type A readings. Let's pass at the half. Pass at the half. At one times we've got thirty nine point two, twenty eight point eight for the second one times, nineteen point two for the first five times, and nine point two for the second five times. But that's that one completely done. So now we can move on to, like I say, the hob is the next one. Just being, yep, hob is the next one. So we'll turn that circuit on. Switch my tester back to AC. Neutral first. And then line. Oh, I'm not getting, there we go. And off we go. Half pass at 2000, greater than 2000. Half again passed. Thirty three point six for the first one times. Thirty for the second one times. Thirteen point six. For the five times, 13. And 9.2 for the second five times. Take those off. Right, we'll change it. Oh, it hurts your hands, this. Change it to A type. Oh, hang on. Yeah, don't forget to turn it on. And off there again, type A this time. 2000, greater than 2000, I'd say. Hang on a second. It is actually, I'll be honest, it's not easy doing this and keeping the probes actually connected. So we'll do it two ended this time. So, but that's fine. 33.6 for the first time. 23.6 for the second times one. 13.6 for the first five times. Six for the second five times. So take those probes off. Crikey. Right, so that's the hob done. Now we move on to the cooker circuit.
all the tests. One final test to do. Pressing the test button. And that's done. <laughs> that's all done. So there you go. Um, like I said, there's a debate on how many of these tests you should do on type A RCDs and RCBOs. I'll probably do a, a separate video on why the debate rages as to whether you should do just five times or 10 times testing. You know, do you have to test the type A side of things when it's been done by the manufacturer and all this sort of stuff. I've done all 10, that's the way I've been taught to do it. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And um, as I mentioned earlier, because of um, NAPIT's forms still require you to do the one times and the one and the five times highest readings, I'll be taking those readings and making them note in the certificate. That completes this job now. I hope a lot of it's been uh, informative. There's been some unique solutions to some various problems that I've uh, encountered. Um, I may sort of take those out, maybe put some short, put some video shorts on those, uh, but they'll be in the chapters, I expect anyway. Um, but yes, um, this job's all done. This will all be tidied up on a, another time. Um, as I say, this coming backwards and forwards to this job, there's lots of projects to do over the next sort of 12 months. But I hope it's been informative, and we will send you, send you, we will see you on the next one.